I'm sure you've all heard the story of Google engineer James Damore, who circulated a memo within the company wherein he made the claim that the gender gap in the tech industry isn't the result of discrimination, but is due to biological differences between men and women. He also argued that conservative viewpoints are unfairly maligned and silenced at Google. This, in turn, led to a spirited debate wherein people who opposed James's ideas carefully refuted his arguments in a calm and dispassionate manner. <laughs> uh, just kidding. His uh, co-workers threatened him with violence, claimed they felt unsafe, claimed his memo was misogynistic, and then Google fired him. Now, I read his memo. It's about the least offensive thing I've ever read. The cat in the hat is more offensive. James clearly went to painstaking lengths to make sure that no part of his document could be misinterpreted as being anti-diversity or anti-woman. Yet his upset uh, female co-workers still managed to frame it that way, mainly by just labeling it, you know, it's sexist, it's sexist, it's sexist, it's sexist, and ignoring the actual contents of the memo. And at this point... Um, is anyone really surprised? SJWs never argue. They never confront ideas that they don't like in any sort of substantive way. They just attack the author of said ideas, usually with their same tired accusations of sexism and racism, followed by deplatforming campaigns and or violence. Now, for me to go over the full contents of his uh, memo would take way too much time. So let's instead just take a look um, at a very small part of a very short statement issued to employees of Google by Danielle Brown, who is Google's vice president of, um, get this, diversity, integrity, and governance. <laughs> George Orwell, eat your fucking heart out, am I right? Let's read an excerpt from uh, Danielle Brown's uh, response to this whole situation. Many of you have read an internal document shared by someone in our engineering organization expressing views on the natural abilities and characteristics of different genders as well as whether one can speak freely of these things at Google. And like many of you, I found that it advanced incorrect assumptions about gender. I'm not going to link it here as it's not a viewpoint that I or this company endorses, promotes, or encourages. Oh, well, Danielle, here's the problem with that. Uh, James's memo was based on observable scientific data. He didn't just state an opinion that men and women are different in certain ways. He discussed the findings of science on the subject. He didn't carefully source his memo like it was a scientific paper, but everything he said had its roots in actual research. For example... When he said that women have higher neuroticism than men, that wasn't just his mean old sexist opinion. Study after study has been done on this. Women, regardless of nationality, ethnicity, or income, exhibit higher neuroticism than men. And that's on average, by the way. That's not saying every woman is a, is a neurotic fucking mess and every man is cool and collected. That's saying that everywhere you go on earth, women in general are more neurotic than men in general. That's a fucking fact, Danielle. You don't, as far as I know, have the power to dismiss facts you don't like just because you don't like them. That's just one example of dozens where the facts are just on James Damore's side. But... We live in a post-fact world, and him being right hasn't spared him from losing his job. Female co-workers refused to show up because he was still employed. Higher-ups told James that his memo was opening him up to righteous violence from co-workers who would want to punch him in the face, and this was presented as if it were rational. As if James getting punched in the face for sharing his point of view would have been no one's fault but his own. Then, to add further insult, he was told that his memo itself was a form of violence. Uh, I love it. I love, a fuck I, I love when writing something out 
calmly and rationally to explain your position to people is violence, but them them punching you in the face because of it is a form of like, oh, well, that's just a valid form of freedom of speech. Speech is violence. Violence is speech. Once again, George Orwell, are you done eating your fucking own heart out yet? Yeah, writing a memo is violence now. <laughs> that's another word, I guess, that just is meaningless. F- fucking just tear that page out of the dictionary. The word violence is now just bullshit like so many other fucking words in the English language. Shakespeare added 1,700 words to the English language. Well, SJWs are taking them out quick. Pretty soon, we won't have any words left that actually mean anything. Uh, one more thing I want to say on this before I, uh, before I move on. Um, this me- this uh, memo... This James Damore memo is being uh, categorized all over the media and uh, all over internal Google arguments. Uh, It's being categorized as anti-diversity. Anti-diversity. This is the greatest stupidity of all. I read James Damore's memo, and it was pro-diversity. He was simply saying things like, you know, guys, maybe quotas... Racial quotas and gender quotas aren't the best way to get diversity. Maybe lowering standards for people of color and women isn't the best way to get diversity. Maybe discriminating against white men by not letting them take certain courses is not the best way to get diversity. For sharing these opinions, he was fired. For daring to say that women are more neurotic... He was chased out of Google by a lynch mob of neurotic women for daring to make the case that ideological diversity was also important. His ideology was removed from the company as if it were a tumor. So Google, because they go to this guy who says, hey, I got some ideas about diversity and and why Google is doing it wrong as a company. And they said, oh, well, we got to get rid of you because... We don't want this sort of diversity of thought to exist here. We just want a diversity of genitals and skin tones. That's what really matters. Not a diversity of opinions, not a diversity of thoughts, not a diversity of ideas, just a diversity of genitals and skin tones. That's true diversity. That's the diversity that really fucking matters here at goddamn fucking Google. I don't agree with everything James said in his memo. But a lot of it was beyond dispute. And that's why his detractors aren't bothering to dispute it. They just sidestep the argument once again and rely on name calling and shaming. So you know what I say? I say, fuck Google. And I was already saying that because they fucked me. Any big YouTuber that you know and like, they fucked us all. Fuck Danielle Brown, the fucking VP of Orwellian horse shit. Fuck anyone at Google who refused to work because, oh my God, I can't work here at this giant corporation that because they employ someone I don't agree with. Oh, I'm a fucking crybaby. Fuck anyone who threatened violence over this. And you know what? Let me just save myself some fucking time and say fuck the entire human species. I'm TJ Kirk. If you enjoy my channel, please consider contributing to my Patreon because that's about the only fucking way I'm ever going to make any money on this fucking site again.